The depth of the market on MT5 is very useful tool if you are using a trading as a scalping strategy or you can use it in any way to open or close the trade which is close to the current market price. Before we start with the depth of the market, I need to tell you in the description you have a link to get the PDF files if you want to learn what is pip, what is margin, what is leverage and what is lot size. That way you will see in the examples how to use it and what they mean in trading on the forex market. Now let's start with the lesson about the depth of the market. Depth of the market is a tool that you can use in MT5 and also in MT4. We will see first in MT5 because MT5 has much more options than MT4. To open depth of the market or also called DOM, which is a short of depth of market, there are several ways which you can open the depth of the market on MT5 and the first one is to go to the view and select depth of the market where you can select which currency pair you want to open for this depth of the market. I will use EURUSD. When I click EURUSD, the new window will appear. This is the window of depth of the market. I will close this window so I can show you several ways how to open it on MT5. Second way is go to the market watch here where are the symbols and click on right mouse button on the symbol you want to have the depth of the market and you can see here this is the option. If I click it, I will open again the same window. Third way how you can open is go to the chart, here I have EURUSD and click right mouse button and then again find depth of the market in the list of options. If I click it, I will open again the same window. The fourth way is to use a short command on your keyboard and the short command is like this. Check it. When I click the right, right mouse button here on the chart, you can see the depth of the market, but here is also the combination of the keys on the, your keyboard. So it is Alt plus B. So I will click Alt plus B on my keyboard and here it is. It is the depth of the market on MT5. Now when you have opened this window, you can continue using it. First, what you can see here is two columns. First column is here where you can see the current price, where is the bid and ask price. You can use this, but usually this is not very useful in this case, but if you are trading on a live account, you will see here small circles when there is an open order. In this case, I will not use live account because I'm using demo account, so this will not be possible to see it. If you want to close this window, just click here this option and the tick chart will disappear. If you want to open again the same tick chart, just press the button again. You can see it. Now you have a second column here, which is divided into three columns. The first column is the volume of all orders that you currently have and that your broker can give it to you. And then you have a price and the price represents the price of your USD, which you can see also here on the right side where the chart is. Then you have a third column, which is a trade, where you can see arrows, red arrows and the blue arrows, which represents an option to open an order. If you hover your mouse over arrows, you can see it here on the red arrow, it tells you sell a limit 10 Euro USD at certain price. This is the certain price if you, op if you want to open an order with sell limit with 10, which 10 represents the lot size. On the right side, you have a blue arrow that tells you if you want to open buy stop with 10 Euro USD at 0 0.96933, you need to click this button. Below this line, and this line represents the current market price, which means all these prices here in blue below this market price are lower than the current price. For example, the current price here is 0 .9, sorry, 9620 and the lowest one is 96922. But because of the price is changing all the time very quickly, so it's a little bit hard to catch the correct price, but you understand what I mean. So all the prices below this line are lower than the current price on the chart. Then below the, this line you have also red arrows and blue arrows. 
red arrows represent the sell stop and the blue arrows represent the buy limit. Without going into much more details about pending orders, what is sell limit, what is sell stop, buy limit and buy stop, I will just give you a short explanation. All the prices that are above and which are colored here with a pink color represents the pending orders that can be opened only above the current market price. So if you want to have pending order waiting to sell the currency pair, this means you want to open a seller limit pending order, which represents you want to sell the currency pair above the current market price. And that means you can open just a minute. That means you can open sell limit, which will be, for example, here at this level, 0.96966, and wait until the price comes to this price level. If the price comes to this price level, the sell limit order will open and then you will wait until the price falls down to make the money. If you open buy stop order, that means if you open the price, if you open the pending order here at this level, then you expect the price that will come to this level and continue to move up to make money. In case if you open here sell stop or buy limit, this means you are opening pending order that is below the current market price. This means if you open a sell stop with the arrow, a red arrow, that means that you are expecting the price will continue to fall down, reach your entry level for the pending order and continue to move down to make money. In case of buy limit, which is here with the blue arrow pointing up, that means you will open pending order buy limit, for example here, and then you are waiting until the price comes down and then you expect the price will continue to move up to make money. So these are two types of pending orders which are above the current market price and which are below the current market price. Second thing that you can do is to open instant market order. That means if you want to open sell or buy order with the current market price, you can do that. And to do that, you have here a menu with a sell and buy button, where you have also three fields which you can edit. These three fields represent stop loss in the pips, take profit in the pips, and this is the volume. The volume or loss size represents how much you want to a each pip to be worth. So, for example, if I put here one, just a minute, one, this means I want to open one lot size, which represents one pip will be equal to $10. So if you want to open instant market order at this current price, you just click the sell or buy button. I will, I will click, for example, buy button because I see the market is moving upwards, so I will buy. Immediately, you have this order open here, and then you can see the details about the profit also here. I will put here just the minute profit in points. Okay. Okay, now let's go. Continue your, with your USD currently open. You What you can do with this order? You can close this order with one mouse button. And that means if you press this yellow button, which means close, you will close this order immediately. I will click it and the order is closed. But have in mind that currently this trading with one mouse button is an option that you need to activate. You need to go to the tools, then go to the options, then go to the trade tab. And then you have here an option one click trading. Currently is selected and activated, but if you have it automatically deactivated at the start, you will see what this means. For, them, for example, if I want to open again a buy order, then I will need to make the same process as usually I am doing when opening a new order. New window appears where you can sell or buy the currency pair with details to select the volume or stop loss and take profit. And I will click the buy button and confirm it. And then if I want to close the order, I can use again the close, close button, which is a yellow button. And then I will need to confirm I want to close this order. Now you can see there are 
three steps, three clicks to open the order and close the order. But if you want to speed up the process, then you can activate this option, tools option, trade and activate one click trading. Before continuing further, you need to accept terms and conditions of the one click trading. So if you are willing to accept, click the checkbox, click OK and then OK again. Then you will be able to open buy or sell order with one mouse click, click and close it. Then you have a stop loss which you can change and if, for example if I put here 10 and for example take profit 20, this will mean I will have stop loss and take profit set on this order. Which means currently I have open at 0 0.96 916 with a stop loss 96906 which is one pip stop loss and a profit two pips. So have in mind that if you put here 10 that means 10 pipettes or one pip. And also here take profit means the same 20 means two pips or 20 pipettes. And then we can continue further on. I will close this order so I can show you how to open pending orders so you'll see what this means. In the depth of the market, I will open first pending orders that are above the current market price. And that means I will open pending order that is above here. So you have a prices from 0 0.9693 to 9.694. And that is around that means around one pip. So I will open first here a sell limit. A sell limit represents an order that means I want I'm expecting the price will rise here to this price and then fall down and if you put here your mouse button you will see that there is a sell limit one and that means one is one lot size and then further in this message you can see that there is a price with the stop loss and take profit already set and this means here the values if I put er, put here zero or completely delete them, you will see next time when I want to open pending order, there is no stop loss and take profit levels. And then if I want to change, for example, to 10, that means 10 lot size, you will see the message change. Sell limit at 10, 10 lot sizes at the current price. I will open sell limit order and you will see it here. The sell limit order is above the current market price and it's waiting until the price comes here and then it will open. Further, what you can do here in this volume, you know, sorry, in this trade column, you can see and track the current sell limit order I have open. You can see how the price changes and it also changes here. If you want to change the value of a sell limit, for example, oh, sorry, it's already closed. I will close it, sorry. I will again open the new one. If you want to change the entry price, which is currently at 0 0.96947, you can easily do that by changing the price here in the trade column. And that means you can simply drag and drop this pending order at the price you want to change. Let's wait a second or two. I need to to see it here. Need to wait it here. Sorry. I will close this one. Delete. Okay, I will open the second one. You can see it. If I take it, you can see that there is here arrow that is pointing up and down and I can simply select it and move to another price. So I will put it at 0 0.96934 and you will see that it will change here in the pending order row. So it is easy to change the entry price. If I want to cancel this order, I need to go here and simply click the shift button and hold it and you can see there is a, an X button I can use next to this order. I will open another, another one so I can continue showing you. Click the button shift and then you can click the button and I will delete this pending order. In a case of a buy stop it is the same case. I can change, just, cl just click the mouse button, hold it hold it and change the price and if I want to ch to 
sorry I will close this ones the USD a little bit is a little bit fast currency pair sorry again I will click the shift button and there is an X I can cancel this order I will click it cancel then below the current market price is a sell stop and buy limit order it is the same case as in the case where, when I have open pending order above the current market price so if I open here a sell stop it is the same I can change the entry price I can cancel it much more faster than clicking on the order and clicking another two or three clicks I will open again buy limit so you can see it it's already open sorry open change the entry price cancel that's all and above here you have a few more options that you can use for example this option show or hide spread represents here a space between the bid and ask which represents the spread for example the current spread is one pipette so there is no price in between but for example if we use gbp usd and check depth of the market i will close this window you can see that the depth of the market sorry shows you here the option show or hide spread you can see the prices between the bid and ask price this is just a little bit of help to show you what is the difference between the bid and ask price and also what is the spread so you can open here also a values sell limit and also you can also buy limit but usually I am closing this option and put it here just to show these tens these ten of prices for the current symbol then you have here a show extended book or you can lower the options now you have only four rows for each of the prices above or below the current market price if you want to extend these prices to have it at least 10 of them then just click this mouse button just click this option here then you have here a link book to the active chart this means that if you want to link for the current chart that is currently open then you will change this depth of the market for example if I change the GBP here put it here the chart it immediately changes here the currency pair depth of the market so if I remove this one I will unlink a link this book to the active chart and then when I change to another one currency symbol for a USD CHF the depth of the market here this window stays only for GBP USD so this is an option if you want to leave only one window instead opening another one for this currency symbol you can make this active option and you will have it here immediately visible for the current currency symbol on the chart so this is all for the depth of the market on mt5 now i will show you depth of the market on mt4 if i open an mt4 just a minute you will see that there is a slight change slight difference between an MT4 and MT5 depth of the market I will start from the scratch okay this is it okay now we can continue how to open depth, depth of the market is the same as on MT5 I will use the chart and depth of the market and open it now you can see that the depth of the market window is a small window with less options there is no options above to change some of this for example there is no tick chart there, no, there is also no showing the spread but this is all what you have you have three buttons open sell and buy buttons you can change stop loss take profit and also the volume and above you can open depending orders using depending orders is the same as on MT5 you can simply sell limit then you can change the entry price just going with your mouse over it and when you see an arrow showing just click and hold and drag to the certain price you want to change the price and then if you want to cancel click the shift button and you will see an X button next to it if you want to confirm it with the mouse button select this X and you will remove pending orders 
I will not go too much into this one because the way of doing of uh, depth of the market on MT4 is the same as on MT5. So if you want to check it for the MT4, how to use it is the, it is the same as on uh, MT5. You can watch the video from the start. So this is all for, for this lesson for the depth of the market. It is pretty useful tool to trade with uh, pending orders if or instant orders with the prices close to the current market price and usually if you are a scalper this is very useful tool, tool for you. At the end just a remind for you if you want to have a PDF files for a pip for leverage for a margin and also for the lot size to learn more on examples check the link in description and download the PDF files. It is free for you so use them as much as you want and I hope they will be helpful for you. I'm sure they will be. See you next time. Click the like button and subscribe. Happy trading.